Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is day four of Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week, and I wanted to talk about mental and emotional well being. chronic and often painful illness can take a toll on your mental health and your emotional well-being. It can be challenging and frustrating to manage not only the physical symptoms of Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, but also having to deal with the stress, worry, depression, and anxiety along the way. Rates of depression are higher among patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis as compared to other diseases and the general population. Anxiety is also common in IBD patients as well. So we know that stress is a big trigger in flare-up symptoms for IBD patients. Um, stress is your body's hormonal response to any situation that demands you take action. Um, the release of these hormones is known as your fight or flight response. They are responsible for physical reactions to stress like increased heart rate, um, perspiration, tightening of muscles. Um, however, not all stress is bad. Small doses of good stress can motivate you to be productive um, or avoid danger or even feel excited. However, prolonged exposures to stressors that induce bad stress can be harmful to your physical and mental health. Managing your mental health and emotional well being is just as important as treating the physical symptoms of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. It's very important to address the emotional impact of your disease with your doctor. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation has some great tips and resources on their website. I will link their website down below. Um, they've got some good information there, but it's always good to reach out to your doctor um, and not feel afraid to talk about your emotional well being because it's going to affect your physical well being. And like I said earlier, it is just as important as your physical health is your emotional health. So it's good to find a doctor that will listen to you um, and help you because it will help your physical body um, by helping your emotional self. I know that it is hard to focus on your emotional self sometimes, um, especially when you're trying to focus on your physical health, um, especially if you're in a flare up. Um, it's hard sometimes to do a balancing act, but just know your healthcare team is there for you. So reach out. They're not going to know that you're having issues with your emotional well being unless you let them know. And hopefully, they can help address any stressors that are going on um, in your life that might help with your physical well being. I hope this quick little video was helpful and provided some information um, about taking care of your emotional well-being. We are already over halfway through Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week. Um, I hope these videos have been informative. They're just supposed to be short little videos giving you a little bit more information. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos about IBD, my experience, as well as my new journey with my J pouch. Um, if you also wanna follow me on social media, I have an Instagram. My handle is also Linzarella, and you can find me there. And I will see y'all tomorrow for day five of Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week. Bye.